right friends welcome back to sixth part and this is the last one for 51st week and remaining six will be there with the 52nd week so total it will be 12 parts the first one is gdp growth for 2015-16 was finally concluded at 7.6 percent if someone talks about the gdp two three important aspects don't forget these figures are released by cso that is one part second one is these are based on constant prices of 2011-12 and this is real GDP, right? So, these things do not forget and look at the next one, India Post is going to launch Payments Bank and here I would like to tell you Payments Banks as well as Small Finance Banks are examples of differentiated banks. They can undertake only certain set of operations, not all the operations. When all types of operations can be undertaken, they are known as universal banks. ICICI Bank, Canara Bank, these are all examples of universal banks. And if you look at the next item, ISRO launched Made in India Space Shuttle for the first time during the year. This is known as RLVTD. What is RLVTD? Reusable Launch Vehicle Technology Demonstrator. What exactly is meant by it? At present, we are sending satellites when a rocket is launched to place a satellite in orbit. It is not coming back. And in future, once RLVTD becomes a reality, then rockets will go to the space and launch satellites and will come back to earth. So, that is the main purpose of this RLVTD or Reusable Launch Vehicle Technology Demonstrator. This is very important experiment from ISRO during the year 2016. There is a second important experiment also that I will come to it during 52nd week or a later part of this recap. And if you look at salient features of RLVTD, I have given here. Here one important aspect is it used a special material carbon carbon composite and heat resistant silica tiles because it has to withstand high temperatures developed because of a friction when the technology demonstrator is entering back to the atmosphere. That is the real challenge for the ISRO engineers, right? So, this carbon-carbon composite is basically to withstand high temperatures developed, right? Other aspects I have given here. Only four countries have done this experiment earlier. USA, Russia, Japan and France, right? And Indian ISRO achieved this milestone with this RLVTD. This is one important aspect of 2016. Then KYC rules and disclosure norms on participatory rules were imposed from 1st July 2016. Participatory notes are issued by foreign portfolio investors and they invest in Indian stock market and till June 30, 2016. The details of participatory notes or otherwise known as offshore derivative instruments are not known to Indian stock market regulator or SEBI. That is why they are one of the conduits for black money and from July 1 onwards SEBI introduced strict norms. This Indian know your customer or Anti-money laundering rules will apply to participatory notes holders also and overseas derivative instruments issuers or foreign portfolio investors will also be required to identify the person who controls the operations when no beneficial owner is identified and no transfer of participatory notes without prior permission. So, these are the strict rules imposed by SEBI from 1st July. This is the major change. Then, National Civil Aviation Policy was announced for the first time after independence. National Civil Aviation Policy. Three important aspects I have listed. One is the Regional Connectivity Scheme. This is a Udan. Under Udan, each passenger is a 
to be charged not more than rupees 2500 per one hour of flight to unserved underserved airports of the country then second point is 5 by 20 scheme was liberalized at the same time open sky policy was introduced for the countries located 5000 kilometers beyond delhi so these are the important aspects of national civil aviation policy which was unveiled during june 2016 then skill development this is a target area for the government i have listed out various aspects here government stated that central board of skills certification will be established and 500 pradhan mantri kaushal kendras will be opened to provide a skill training free of cost like that remaining points i have given here please go through them and government's target is to cover at least 1.5 crore people during 2016-17 then another important decision is five associate banks of spa along with bharatiya mahila bank are to be merged with spi and the merger is expected to take place by march 2017 please look into this slide this indicates various aspects pertaining to this bharatiya mahila bank as well as associate banks then scheme for sustainable structuring of stressed assets this is another scheme for tackling the problem of non performing assets this was unveiled in june 2016 and in the month of january strategic debt restructuring or str was unveiled and now this is a scheme for sustainable structuring of stressed assets or s4a here the debt is bifurcated into sustainable debt and unsustainable debt or equity or quasi equity and sustainable debt should be minimum 50% then special package was given for textile and apparel sector this is very important and it is expected to benefit women why government unveiled this and before that the difference between textiles and apparels i have given here and next aspect is why government unveiled this because of the reason bangladesh and vietnam inched ahead as far as the exports of apparels are concerned and india is lagging behind at third position government's goal is to make it number 1 by 2018 we have to wait and see and various aspects unveiled i have given here salient features of special package for textile and apparel sector please go through it then fdi norms further liberalized in the month of november 15 fda norms were liberalized and in continuation further liberalization was done i have given in this two slides various aspects pertaining to liberalization in a defense sector most important investment beyond 49% is permitted through government approval route if it results in access to modern technology previous clause of state of art technology was taken out and at the same time pharmaceutical sector in brownfield pharmaceutical sector 74% fdi is allowed under automatic route and beyond 74 under approval route and for greenfield pharmaceuticals 100% fdi under automatic route already exists similarly remaining things i have given here please go through them then world investment report given by unctad and if someone talks about the world investment report world investment report that talks about fdi flows and this report is given by united nations organization unctad united nations conference on trade and development and it gave fdi flows during the year 2015 please look into this India is at the 10th position with the 44 billion dollars and the USA is still number 1 which is attracting more FDI right and 10000 crore rupees startups program that is the fund of funds scheme SIDB will be the nodal authority rupees 10000 crores will be given that is for funding the startups this is known as a fund of funds scheme please look into this slide the meaning of a fund of funds scheme will be evident to you so sidbi 
rupees 10,000 crore fund of funds scheme that will be maintained by SIGBI and they will invest in some organized venture capital funds or alternative investment funds and subsequently they will invest in startups. Right. So, with this let us conclude the sixth part and remaining six parts of current affairs recap for 2016 will be available with 52nd week. Right friends, with this let us conclude six parts or six capsules of current affairs which is basically revision of 2016 and remaining six parts you will have during 52nd week which we are going to produce within next 2-3 days. Have a nice day. Thank you.